Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to the long awaited FSR 3 video of Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. This game was really pain in the back to make the FSR 3 work. Like, I have tried like a one week or so, uh, tried different mods, different method, DLSS enabler, and yeah, it doesn't work. So, the main problem later I realized it was uh, the update of the game the game needed uh, some update to work on my pc although the game worked with uh, amd pc like the newer amd gpus previously before the update but yeah now the game uh, is working fully with uh, all kind of gpu so yeah here i am this game is updated with the update too so if you don't uh, find this mods working uh, update your game to the update version 2 or update 2 uh, which just released maybe two to three days ago prior to this video so yeah anyway uh, again one more troubleshooting is uh, if you cannot see the uh, hardware button or enter button working uh, after opening the game uh, try to switch alt tab the game like when you are at the main screen and you press the enter button and the enter button is not responding or any button is not responding so just uh, like alt tab this switch like this and uh, your uh, enter button will work so yeah anyway let's uh, talk about the mod and the game now so this game is very much gpu heavy as you can see right now i'm on rtx 2050 with uh, 1080p dlss is set on quality and rest of the settings are on medium but it's still on medium uh, without any kind of uh, what do you say uh, fancy graphics ultra or any ray tracing i don't know if this game got ray tracing or not but yeah anyway i'm getting only around like 40 fps you can see here uh, you can see the fps right here only getting like uh, 40 to 50 fps so yeah uh, we're gonna mount this game let's uh, begin this video all right now we will be needing this zip warhammer 40k space marine fsr 3 all gpu v1 why did i rename v1 there is no v2 right now but i thought it as that from now on i will be making mod based on the number of v1 v2 like if some later mod comes on i will rename that to v2 there is right now no mod v2 but uh, let me tell you again there is only one mod which will support on all gpu uh, and uh, here you can see an image uh, which says unable to look at down scalar or something some error so if you face this error uh, i will show you how to fix that so first of all uh, we will need to extract this zip then we're gonna open the folder you can see three to four five folders and uh, files here so first uh, let it slide this side go to the installation directory of the game uh, for me which is here now after that we're gonna go inside client pc root bean pc and in here uh, we will be pasting those files so yeah let me first paste uh, now listen uh, if you are on rtx gpu you just need to paste these files all right but if you are on non rtx slash uh, amd gpu or maybe nvidia gpu uh, you might need to paste this uh, nvgx.dll this is not necessary but if you cannot see the dlss in game like the name suggest paste if can't see dlss only then paste this file uh, rather else uh, you will be good only with these files so after pasting these files you might uh, face this error while running the game so to fix that you just need to double click the enable driver signature override so don't get confused with the disable signature that is needed for the dlss enabler now if we use this mod you will need to enable this uh, driver signature this enable one all right now we will go inside the game and i will talk a few things about how the mods working and uh, yeah let's dive into the game now Star Wars Outlaws offline activation starting at just 400 Indian rupees. Wukong at just 350 rupees. Along with all the new and old games and Windows 10 and 11 serial key. The stock is limited, so hurry. Alright, uh, we are back inside the game, and as you can see, now the FPS has boosted from 40 and 50 to 90 and 100. Uh, it will get a little bit deep maybe here and there yeah there as you can see it's like uh, sometimes 85 
around 90 but as this game does not have any kind of dlss frame generation or fs3 frame generation inbuilt that's why the mod will flicker uh, also you will need to set this on dlss uh, the render resolution is up to you quality balance whichever you want i'm just gonna set it to balance all right so yeah which i was talking about as this game does not have any kind of uh, frame generation setting inbuilt uh, the hood will flicker like if you look at this area the offline mode which says you can see the hood is flickering also the aim you can see it's also a little bit flickering so yeah but this game does not have very much of hood uh, maybe some subtitles and uh, one or two things here and there uh, but yeah it's the mod is fully working as you can see fps has now boosted 90 to 100 so yeah this will be it for this video if this video helps you do subscribe to the channel comment down below if you're facing any kind of issue don't forget to join the discord for more upcoming mods and cheap games and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, cheers.